Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see here. And today we're doing another book review. I got through another book pretty quickly. So today I'm going to be reviewing The Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter, and that was written by Theodora Gross. So I, I went into this book wanting so badly to enjoy it. I, I really did. And I don't know if because I wanted to enjoy it, it, I was more disappointed than I would have otherwise been, but it was very average. Um, I, w I found myself being easily distracted while I was reading it. Um, it didn't suck me into the story and it felt, how do I put this? Like. The relationships that were developed were very stereotypical and circumstantial. So I, I want to try to do this book review without really giving too many spoilers. So you could read it for yourself and then make your own determination. Um, this is just my opinion about my experience when I was reading it. The premise of this book is that the daughter of Dr. Jekyll gets involved in a mystery and other well-known characters are springing up and then daughters of those characters. So this book includes characters like obviously Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, um, Dr. Moreau, uh, Sherlock Holmes, Frankenstein, and Van Helsing. Um, who else was in there? There, there were more, um, but you, you get the, the gist, these kind of classic monster villains and many of them had female offspring who paths cross. And this book is sort of telling of that, that intersection of all of these daughters and them like bonding together. So that being said, like, I, I love horror. I love horror stories. You know, the, the classic universal monsters. I love it. I love it. Um, so, so that's why I really, really wanted to like sink my teeth into this book and really enjoy it. And I just, it, I, I felt like I was reading stereotypes. Um, it did not, the characters did not resonate with me in a natural way. They, you know, it was like, like the author took an archetype and then just built a character around it and kind of piecemealed these other characters in and made the story. Um, I did like the idea that it was like a buddy book, like, you know, like the, the concept of like a buddy movie or a buddy story. Um, but but female buddies. Like when I think of buddy movies, I think of like Goonies. Goonies is like the first buddy movie that I think of. So it was like a buddy movie, but a novel, obviously. But the ca the primary cast of characters were all female. So I was like, cool. You know, I think that was a great, you know, um, I don't know if you call that an archetype, but like that was a, a, a great premise to, to build this off of. Um, the other thing that like, I don't know if I liked it or, or didn't like it. Throughout the book, they're breaking the fourth wall and acknowledging throughout that they are writing a book. And every time it happened, like it pulled me out of the story. And this might be why I found it very, like I find myself getting very distracted because every time like they were getting into something, they would be like, I wouldn't say it like that. And you're like, is it really necessary to write a book about writing a book? I, I don't, I don't know that that was working for me. And I think, you know, like as I'm saying this and I'm, I'm processing that a little bit, I'm wondering if that is the reason why I didn't like it as much as I thought it would, because every time they broke the fourth wall with that, it pulled me out of the story. And it was just like, why are you two going back and forth about how this book is being written? It's already written and I'm reading it. Like, why do I need to read this? 
it, it, it totally pulled me out of the moment of what was going on. And I've said before that like one of my favorite things about books is when they become immersive and when I am completely lost in the story. And I think the frequent breaking of the fourth wall was probably a big reason why I struggled with this book. Now that I'm like saying it out loud and processing that, I think that had a lot to do with it. So if, if you've read this book, let me know what you think, you know, about that breaking of the fourth wall and if that worked for you or if that was like really distracting for you also. So leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of that. Um, and yeah, like the concept of this book was so good. I just, I wanted more. I wanted more. It, it wasn't a bad book. It, it, you know, I, I give it like three stars out of five. You know, it wasn't bad, but there was so much more that could have been done. So that is my opinion about The Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter. Um, and again, like, let me know what you thought if you read it already. But for now, I'm done for today, and I will see everybody tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.